Unbelievable. You need to hear Ambode as he speaks on why he was removed as governor. Not because the people did not vote for him. He was removed. My dear, the shocking evidences are before us. As the former governor of Lagos State speaks, you know, and you will get to understand the stronghold Tinubu has on Lagos State. Oh, my dear. Oh, my, my, my. The stronghold is unbelievable. How he decides who gets what and how things are portioned and how things are shared. I'm telling you, Ambody is talking about, you know, you know, he's talking about how he was removed. And this is, you know, this is something that is causing a serious stir. You will not believe it. You will not even believe it. You see, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Why I was removed as governor, Amber Day reveals. One, I constructed 22 roads in Olomoshon and refused to award any of the contracts to Aregwe Shola and Co. That's part of it. Remember Aregwe Shola, Minister of Interior. Osiba, um, Tinubu wants him to give the contract of the 22 roads to a regular solar company. That's the way they roll. Number two, I insisted that contracts that has been awarded to party leaders under Fashola must be executed before they can be awarded new contracts under my regime. So there were some contractors that have been awarded contracts and they did not do it. They are party leaders. And they are saying they should, he said, no, they should give them fresh contracts. I said, no. The ones under Fashola, they did not do it. So why should I give them fresh contract? No need. Three, I wanted to face out Danfoss, Danfoss and area boys from the street of Lagos and introduce smarter means of transportation without area boys and agueros. We know Tinubu, this is a stronghold and he blatantly refused. I refused to pay. I refused to pad the budget with 10% of house of assembly members. They wanted him to increase their money by 10%. Led by Bayo Oshowo. Five. I refuse to grant consent on the fourth mainland bridge to Tinubu's company, Hitek. He refused to give it to Tinubu company to construct it. Six. I refuse to increase the amount of money being paid from the state to the revenue from the state revenue to Tinubu through Alpha Beta from 10% to 20. This is what uh, uh what's his name? Nasanwolo agreed to. The 800 million they used to pay in the days of Fashola, in the days of Amber Day. In case you are not aware and you've not heard the news, Sanwolu has increased it to 2.5 billion every month initially they used to pay tinubu apart from the um the lucky toll gate so that money every money you collect there you move past it goes to tinubu you come back it goes to tinubu because he said he constructed it with his own money and lagos state has to pay him is it 30 or 40 years i'm not exactly sure i know it's that 30 or 40 years and so that's when they can finish paying him the money he used for the construction of that road yes so he increased the money for San Olu now from 800 million. They used to pay it every month. Fashola paid 800 million for the eight years he was the uh, governor. Um, uh, 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 what's his name now? Amber, um, they paid 800 million monthly for the four years he was the governor. Uh, our very own brother now, San Olu, has increased it from 800 million to 2.5 billion monthly. You heard me. Let's continue. Number seven. I developed Ekwe. Ekwe was in, in their master plan, not to be developed because it was a plan. Eight, I refused to support Aregwe Shola and Bayo's sanitary ambition because they are not Lagosians. You know, it's true Lagos that they became a senators. Aregwe Shola is minister of interior because they could not put him under Lagos sanitary district. You are seeing what's going on. No? Nine, I refused to use Lagos faith fund to finance Oshun election. We yeah, are uh, Tinubu's uh, cousin. Yeah, you know the governor of uh, uh, Oshun State. Please investigate. It's related to Tinubu. Please do your findings as well. 
So it was Lagos State money they used to finance that election. Okay, let's continue. 10. I oppose Tinubu's succession plan, which will see his son, Sheyi Tinubu, become governor of Lagos State after me. So the plan is even Sanwolu, reliable information is get is reaching us is that Sanwolu may not even get second tenor. May meaning it's a conditional statement, may not even get second tenor. He may not. Because all that glitters, my dear, like they say, is no good. All that is glittering, pa 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 is no good. And it's shiny, you know. You are looking at it, you're saying, wow, beauty, beauty. It's no good. Mm, not every of them is good. So Tinubu has been planning and preparing his son, okay, Sheyi, to become governor. And part of the thing is that Ambode stood against those things, you know. And guess what? <laughs> if I tell you this, you will not believe it, too, but time will expose it. You know, the governor of uh, Ondo State is a close ally to Tinubu. And everybody has been, you know, if, you, if you've been following the news lately, you'll see that the governor of Ondo State has made his son, he has brought his son into politics, making him, you know, one of the personal assistants and all that. People Democratic Party has kicked and some other persons have also said one thing or another in that regard, like it's not supposed to. But guess what? It's just a silent plot so that gradually, okay, um, he can also bring his own son in, okay? So what exactly is this man's crime? I'm not saying he's a saint, don't get me wrong, but if you listen very closely, you will understand some of those things. For instance, Arekba Shola and Tinubu are close allies, Yes? And whether you like it or not, since Tinubu has been the, uh, the, since Tinubu became the governor and since he left, he did not just leave. He has been leading and holding that place and leaving and, you know, leading by proxy, that very position. Tinubu has not left it. If you think Tinubu has left it, you're dreaming like you're in a dream world. Like seriously, you are in a dream world and wake up. Because you only are in the dream world. You know, when you dream, you dream alone. Mm -hmm. You know, so this is what is happening right now as we speak. So the truth of the matter remains. Whatever is going to happen, yeah, Tinubu has a big hand in it. So how will Lagos turn out to be in the scheme of things? Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Bye for now.